Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 18 Hasu League. We are now in the finals, potentially the final match. Tucson currently up 3-1 in this best of seven. Upper right in corner, we have Rod starting as the great Protoss. Bottom right, we got... Is that right? Yeah, sorry. Bottom right, we got Tucson starting as the orange Terran. Top right, Raj is the great Protoss. I think I said orange Protoss there. This is going to be on Vermeer. It's like a ban hammer. Right there. And honestly, Vermeer is a pretty good map for Tucson's playstyle. And with the high ground, as long as Tucson doesn't overextend like he did last map along that third, Raj does do a very good job of punishing an overextending Terran. And if he can just roll that, honestly, there's moments here where Tucson has ended up in a situation where he's delayed Ra he's or sorry where Raj has delayed Tucson back around the third base where he's gotten a a nice cushion of supply if he uses those cushions of supply to then expand everywhere else and play the game from there rather than throwing troops away in bad engagements i could see him taking a match going for the high ground pylon and the low ground gateway this time but if he are we going to see a we might see a 14 command center here from Raj or from uh, Tucson. SCV making its way out. We have a supply depot, no barracks. Yep, we are going to see it. Might as well go for it. And I think it's going to pay off because Raj is scouting top left first and going for the counterclockwise scout. So Tucson this time. Going up against a one gate. So a zealot will be produced. But he's not going to know which direction to head. And this is very defendable depending on how Tucson responds. Needs to get that barracks up ASAP though. So Raj scouting bottom left. Basically you just put a supply depot here and then field the marines. And it's a nice wall. First zealot up. Making its way towards the bottom right hand corner. So it'll be a tough defense from Tucson, but not an impossible defense. And SCVs are going to have to fight off the Zealot for some time. Supply Depot underneath. Gas getting grabbed as well. And so now the question is, is okay, Command Center is going to get up. But how many SCV kills can this Zealot and this Probe get before that first Marine's out? Trying to get that SCV building the command center and delay it. Several SCV pulling out. Getting a good surround and a good interruption on that Zealot. Shedding, shredding some shield. And the probe wiped out as well. So we have one SCV kill thus far. And that Zealot getting completely boxed out. Swarmed even. And the Marine alongside. Now we got two Zealots. But Marine support, no second Marine queued up. So Tucson feeling strong enough. And wow, look at the damage he did. Some nice micro, a bunker being built. Who needs Marines when you have SEVs of this caliber? Raj getting completely denied and now has to keep his Zealot alive. Because otherwise he could get counterattacked pretty rapidly. Factory up yet? We got resources for the factory, but no factory, and the bunker's complete. And he might want to... Yeah, he's got to keep the Zealots nursed up. So, disaster here in the early game for Raj. He's up two workers right this second, but that's not going to last very long. A Dragoon able to slip through the lines. I missed the Dragoon getting fielded. It's very quickly going to get dispatched by these heroic SCVs. So, Tucson delayed a bit, but as soon as he starts queuing up SEVs, he's going to surge ahead in that worker count. Nexus is way behind. And Tucson able to scout. I presume he's got a good look at what the worker count's been up to this stage. Dragoon checking the high ground to try to get what damage he can on this barracks. Factory not even complete. The three Marines making their way out. Dangerous maneuver by Tucson because these Zealots are along that edge. But it looks like it's going to work out for him. 
trying to trade the Marines around. Not, uh, unfortunately, the Marines running into each other and causing a kill, and that might be some dead zealots. Nice micro from Tucson. So we got a one-gate robotic facility follow-up now for Raj. The zealots marching their way back. Machine shop on the way, factory up. And Tucson going with the Marines. It looks like he wanted to try to catch a Dragoon that was out in forward field. Another SEU wanting to get some scouting information. This is looking like it might be the final game in Tucson's favor here because massive lead early. Second base up and running. It looks like Raj actually managed to, to hold a three worker count, but lost a lot of troops in the meantime. Siege tank being built. You need that, that early economic lead, honestly, for Protoss. Dragoon kind of peeking in and around. And SCV able to confirm that it wasn't a quick third base. Not going to be able to get the additional scouting information along that edge. Just see the Zealots and the Dragoon along that corner. And also critically able to check that third. So he knows it's more likely robotics facility play. Range still not finished. The four Marines in the siege tank moving out to catch this Marine, this uh, Dragoon in open field. Siege check just about finished. Plus one weapons already along the way. Rod's doing a really good job of macroing in the midst of this to actually open up a 10 supply lead, which is about where he needs to be. In other scenarios, this would look a lot worse. So Raj actually able to make something out of this, scooping up those two earlier damage beleaguered zealots. And gonna scoop up a reaver alongside. It's gonna be two siege tanks to try to defend it. Potentially three by the time they uh, make their way to this map. Second and third factory getting queued up. And Raj gonna use this reaver while he goes ahead and grabs that third base. So let's see if Raj able to get... So there's no turret currently in the mineral line. Potentially some opportunity to get some damage done. And the siege tank might get caught off guard as it's working on that lurker egg. So now dropped. A little bit of a late reaction. But that's going to be... It looks like a dud. And that reaver did take an initial shot. Zealot dropping on the lines. Siege tank going to get wiped out. The Marine's going to get one Marine getting cleared. Oh, that was a lucky shot for Tucson. He didn't end up losing all of his Marines. And gets a little bit of additional damage. And with that, actually, Raj ahead. 20 supply a lead. Took out a siege tank. Took out a, a couple Marines and some SCVs. And has that third base well underway. We do have three factories, however. Range completed. And this is going to be a pretty fast plus one for Tucson. But Reaver able to make it back home. Gotta say, nice play on Raj to kind of equalize a bit. The Dragoon's starting to field forward. I think they might be concerned about plus one weapons move out underneath this. And so want to make sure that Reaver's out in the forward field to slow or stymie that. Sea Shanks and Goliaths near field to potentially deal with a shuttle dive, although I don't know if they're going to be in position to get to a southern lead dive. And this is if they if he can pocket it in that bottom right, could get a lot of harassment done. Second machine shop now up. Looks like I think they sp I think Tucson sees it on that edge. Oops, not where I wanted to spot it. So yeah, woo, one elf shuttle going to be able to make its way back out. But that's the end of that attack. Fourth and fifth factory completing. And Tucson making his way forward a bit. And is going to donate a siege tank and some vultures. Was a little bit over eager. But with the Goliaths, let's see if he can push forward. That shuttle's so low on health. I don't think Raj is going to be able to utilize it the way he would typically want to. To kind of slow this attack down. Observer down. Or he's going to have to be very, very careful with it. But this, again, is where Raj in previous matches has excelled in slowing down the additional base. 
science facility to go ahead and start that plus two weapons, plus one weapons already secured, by the way. No second armory as of yet for Tucson. Shuttle dropping into the natural expansion. Another dud that could have been... Well, actually, never mind. Gets an SCV. The Reaver is now wiped out. But with that Reaver out of the field, I wonder if Tucson's going to feel a little bit more comfortable starting to move out on the field. We do have a Citadel of a Dune. Up in the meantime, this has been all off of three gateways this entire time. So fourth and a fifth... Sorry, four, uh, four gateways. Fifth and a sixth getting plopped down. A couple of Vultures making their way out in the field now. Supply counts have closed. They've gotten a lot closer. And we are seeing a command center, so it looks like Tucson wants to go ahead and just deny... Woo, deny that 12 o'clock expansion. Make sure he denies that fourth with the vultures flooding out and around the map. Ooh, is he going to get some bonus kills here? Raj not responding very rapidly. He's got a reaver, but the vultures honestly can just run away. Yeah. A couple of them getting caught by the Dragoons. And this looks like it's going to be a pretty easy command center grab for Tucson. Supply counts are even, which is very, very bad news for Protoss, particularly when plus one weapons is already finished and plus two is on the way. So it's going to be some form of three base play. Gateway Man is not going to cut it here, but Raj is, in fact, plopping down some additional gateways. He's not playing with an economic lead here. And I don't presume that it, he's going to... With the follow-up as well, because right now he's maneuvering up to go ahead and grab his fourth, but that third is already going to be complete and up. The Vulture's trying to sneak in, but Pylon Wall quickly dropped underneath. I think the probe was critically picked off there, so it's going to be further delays. Another probe making its way out to the 12 o'clock, but this command center is going to land and have the SEV saturation well before that fourth base is online. So Tucson unseaging. Moving up to go ahead and shell up. It looks like he's going to go ahead and play. I presume he's going to make his way to the plus two, plus three. Or sorry, plus three, plus two weapons. Off the 200 supply. And kind of the nice, comfortable three base, which is hard to breach. Usually you'd want to have arbiters to kind of punch through this. But that is... Mike. We have a dead bite commentary, but now we got it back. Happens every once in a while. Finals to remember. Supply counts even. No arbiters for Raj to try to break through this. So he's got, I guess he's got to move out and try to grab additional bases aggressively and hope that Tucson doesn't spot it in hard counter and take out a base in a lot of additional territory. Forges are there. I really like Tucson's position here because this is hard to breach in general, even with Arbiters. And this is zero Arbiter play here. This is nothing but Gateway Man for Raj. And we got more Vultures flooding across to stymie additional base grabs, which is what would take for Raj to to press ahead. He doesn't have a large enough supply lead right this second. To make this work. And right now it's a foot race to 200 is what it comes down to. And right now Tucson looks like he's going to win that race. Three machine shops, all sorts of factories. Again, getting some additional worker kills here at the third. Although he's donating a bit of that supply. Opening things up a bit. Raj going to go ahead and try to sneak in expansion, it looks like, upper left by going for what would typically be that third base. And so is going to be able to secure that. But in the meantime, Tucson is going to hit 200 supply, and he's going to hit that plus one armor as well. Side Storm is going to be finished, but how many High Templar and how much Storm are we going to have here? We got two High Templar that are ready to get scooped up into shuttles, and we got a third one on the ground. So Raj is going to have to be really, really 
impeccable with his micromanagement and have some amazing side storms here once Tucson starts moving. And I expect Tucson to move shortly as plus one weapons finishes. Or plus one armor, I should say, finishes. He sent an SCV bottom left, it looks like, to grab additional territory. <clears throat> Tucson near 200 supply now. And Raj also, he's, he got a little bit of army here at the 12 o'clock spoke, a lot near his natural expansion, and the rest top left. None of this is in position to slow down or engage Tucson on a move out. And here Tucson goes. So it looks like, yeah, Raj was able to open up some bases bottom left. Six o'clock base getting grabbed. And it looks like there's going to be a little bit of disruption. Maybe a canceled command center. We gonna? We do have a Psy storm drop. Man, did manage to pick off a lot of SCV. So Raj doing something, but he's doing nothing about this. So honestly, canceling the command center is fine here for Tucson. Because I don't think Raj is going to be able to stop this army. Yeah, and I think Tucson recognizing is saying, okay, your army's not in position. Shuttle's empty in between here. And SCV just trying to rebuild that for some reason. Raj now moving forward. Some good Psy Storms, though. Some beautiful Psy Storms. Is it going to be enough, though? Siege tank still holding. The Vulture's coming up to provide some support. It looks like that army is going to get obliterated. And a nice defense. Six o'clock base got cleared out. But now does Raja... Is he going to be able to resupply? Vulture streaming across. Able to wipe out top left. They did not spot that base. That's not saturated. So it looks like Raja still held to four bases versus three as the six o'clock base and bottom left are now in Tucson's favor. I do want to say some great size storms in that previous engagement from Raj. Nexus canceled last second. And the supply counts are near even. So Raj is going to need to clear this out and re-grab and recognizing those troops are out of position. Tucson moving forward and encroaching on Raj's third. The kind of the problem is, is trying to grab all that stuff top left when you don't have that supply lead equals dead Nexus. And now it's three base versus three base. And the supply lead nearly in Tucson's favor. He's filled in the gap in between. High Templar getting picked off by those vultures. And is going to be able to saturate the 6 o'clock and bottom left. And Tucson can do more of the same. He's flooding more vultures out. He's going to wipe out that base top left. And again, he can just keep resupplying. Two shuttles making their way out. A lot of High Templar. This could equalize things. I don't know if those shuttles got spotted. It looks like it's mostly vultures here. Siege tank on the low ground. Zealot first. The SCV's evacuating. A little bit too much forewarning. And it looks like it's just going to be vultures and siege tanks that are getting side stormed here. The SCV's going to be able to return there. And that is just now Tucson's got a supply lead and an overwhelming economy to work with. More vultures making their way top left, again, to stop, to basically perpetuate the situation. And again, look for another grouping of siege tanks to move back up towards that natural expansion with the follow-up as Raj dedicating troops to try to deal with these vultures. Actually sweeping all the way around. Now, all of a sudden, it's a situation where Tucson can play factory man. And start throwing troops at his opponent. And Raj just doesn't have the economy to keep up. But kudos to him for getting that upper left. And it looks like another Nexus at least building right this second. Some minerals being left behind. 
Looks like he missed another drop here at the 6 o'clock location. Worker count even. And some Dragoons, mid-map, Vultures, and some Siege Tanks. Let's see if they hunt that army rather than leaving it. Raj actually looking like he wants to try to take out the 6 o'clock base. That's creating a reaction from Raj. Yeah, Raj can't dedicate these sort of troops. Plus three weapons complete, by the way. And the Dragoon's getting absolutely smattered. And now Raj has a big standing Terran army. Mid-map. He's got to defend top left with no gateways in position. And he's got the problem of Tucson having additional bases up and running. Still, four base versus four base. Raj still in it. If he can get some, again, if he can get those side storms out, might be able to keep in this. 55 workers versus 55 workers. Tucson making his way top right, sieging up. Looks like he's going to get another Nexus kill. He was already economically ahead. This is potentially going to put him further ahead. And this is a great attack angle for Tucson. Shuttle, one shuttle down, second shuttle with High Templar getting wiped out. And I think that is going to be it. Tucson does not have enough to punch through. So, a little bit of Psystorm Storm left over, but there's too many Siege Tanks remaining. They've got a great Siege Point. And so Tucson going to bleed out another base. And he's down a significant amount of supply. More High Templar getting picked off. Tucson now barreling in. And very nearly has the entire natural expansion enclosed. Workers did somehow manage to make it out for Raj, which is important, but he doesn't have additional gateways out there. There's GG. And our BSL 18 Hasu League champion is Tucson after many, many attempts and many, many, honestly, rounds of four, etc. in BSL, Tucson getting his first BSL championship here. And I believe, per rules, will advance to Gosu League next season. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Fun season. Thank you for listening.